setting up a quote in Lot Wizard. It's almost identical to setting up a regular customer in Lot Wizard. So let's go to the far left and click on New Deal. And you'll notice it points to stock number. We need to find a vehicle. I'm going to come to the right of stock number and click on the button. It pulls up my inventory list. I'm going to come up here and use the filter. I know the stock number is P4493. I'll type that in. Find the vehicle. Highlight it. Click Load Vehicle at the bottom. You'll notice it puts in the stock number up here. I can come over to tab 3 and see that it puts in the vehicle information. Let's go back to tab number 1. Uh, we'll go over to the right. The use is going to be personal. Let that alone. Finance source. It's going to be going through a bank. <clears throat> Drop that down and um, choose Farmer's Bank. Now this is where it's different than a regular, setting up a regular customer in Lot Wizard. Sill type. I'm going to drop that down and choose quote. You'll notice a print quote button appears above there. I'm not going to click that yet until I fill in all the information about the customer. So now I'm going to come down, state fee schedule, it's going to be new plate lean. And you'll notice it fills in some of the information for me. I need to go in and fill in the rest. The trade, we're going to give them $2,500. Actual cash value, $2,500. And cash down, $500. And cash on delivery, another $500. And we come down to term. It's going to be for 24 months. Finance rate, 15%. And 30 days of first payment. If we come down at the bottom here, it calculated our payments per month, $167.64. Now I'm going to go over to tab number two and fill in the customer information. Put a salesperson in. I'm going to choose Mark Jones. Come down and put the customer's name in. I'm just going to type in John Smith here. Give him an address of 123 Main Street. And if you come down to City State Zip, you can tab over to the zip code and just type in the zip code. And once you tab out of there, it'll decode the city, state, and county. I'm going to give him a home phone. And that's all I'm going to fill in for now for the customer. Now I can go up to trade and put their trade in, tab number 4. I need to put the VIN in. You can type the VIN in. I'm going to paste it in here. Once you type it in, you tab out of it. It'll decode the VIN. I'm going to create a stock number. And that's all the information I need really to print the quote out. I can go back to tab 1, financial. Come up to print quote. Click on that. First time print quote opens. You may want to go down to defaults and set your defaults. Your default window will open and you can choose what you want. I print itemized charges at the bottom, itemize down money, fill in any warranty information that you wish to fill in. And down at the bottom here, these are other comments you can put in that will print at the bottom of the quote. Once you get this set up the way you want it, you can click OK. And it will say, do you want to set these changes to your defaults? I'm going to say yes. And the first time you set it up, it disappears. And you need to go back into print quote, but we don't have to worry about defaults anymore. They're already set. So you'll notice all the information is filled in for the customer. I need to put an expiration date. I go two weeks out from the date on the quote. So I'm going to come down to June 23rd. And I'm going to come down to the bottom and select OK. And it pulls the quote up. I'm going to expand it here so we can see it. And you'll notice up at the very top here, it puts in the dealership information. And if we come down to the middle, it puts in the vehicle information and the trade information. And down at the very bottom, it does uh, payments, the itemization of charges. And down at the very bottom, you, anything you put in for the warranty and your extra comments at the bottom. Now to print this quote for the customer, you come up to the little printer icon here. Click on that. It pulls up a list of your printers. Choose what printer you want to print it to. And come down to the bottom right here and click print. And that's how you print out a quote for a customer. Now when you're back into Lot Wizard here, we can go ahead and save this as a quote. So click save on the far left, second button down. It's going to ask if you want to put the vehicle on hold. You can say yes or no. I'm going to say no for now. And it'll tell you it was saved. Now, you can go on, and in a few days, the customer comes back, and you want to find this customer. And it is set up as a quote, so when you come back to the far right to Deal History, second tab down, you won't see it because only deals are selected up top here. You want to select Quotes. 
and you'll find John Smith in here. Now if you do select both, you'll see both. You'll notice quotes are in light blue. To open it, we can just double click on John Smith here. And it brings us back to tab number one, financial for John Smith. And what we can do to sell this vehicle is just come over to sell type here, drop it down and choose the correct one, whether it be buy here, pay here, or retail. I'm going to choose retail. I'm going to go ahead and save this, and it'll say it was saved. And I want to show you back in deal history, I'm going to refresh it first, that if you go under quotes, John Smith is now no longer under quotes, it is under the deal selection. So that is how you print a quote for a customer. If you need help on setting up a cash deal, financing deal, or buy here, pay here deal, you can watch our other videos. Thank you for watching.